What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. As we continue to discuss AMC proposed reverse split, I would want to discuss some of the optimistic implications of this development. Before I begin, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. One of the major topics of conversation over the past few days has been Adam Aaron's tweet from last week announcing that there would be a special shareholder meeting to vote on a number of significant measures proposed by the AMC management team. Most frequently discussed are the conversion of AMC preferred equity units back into AMC common stock, establishing a float of between 1.3 and 1.4 billion shares in total, and a reverse stock split of 1 for 10. Fear, uncertainty, doubt, and erroneous information have been consistently disseminated once again. I'm aware that many of you have quite strong sentiments about this, so I wanted to spend a couple of minutes to create a video explaining, first and foremost, why they are doing this and why it will ultimately be a powerful factor that might destroy the short thesis and bring down the short sellers. I'd like to begin by quoting Adam Aaron, AMC multimillionaire CEO, clarifying information concerning the shareholder vote. 8 to AMC is a 1 to 1 conversion when combined 1.4 billion shares, the 10 to 1 reverse split leaves 140 AEM 140 million AMC shares in total reducing the float and allowing AMC to raise capital based on authorized shares. And any additional authorization we are able to provide to guarantee that the debt due in 2026 and 2027 is reduced. Let's take a listen. Release a press statement so that you have a solid one. Three, two, one okay. And a reverse split, 10 to one. Yes. However, that is after we have been. And how many shares would that be if we put them all together? We have approximately one point. We are descending 149. Because for the entire you, beneficial for cleaning it up. Thank you. I stated that you were the second person to ask me that question today. So I believe you'll need to tweet that. We might have to tweet it. We will state here. Now, once more, gentlemen, it is crystal evident that the events will occur one after the other. Therefore, we shall perform a reverse or conversion followed by a reverse split, again reducing the total float, forcing hedge funds to discover any naked short shares and floating synthetics in order to re-enter the market and purchase them at fair market value. Obviously, this causes the share price of AMC to rise. Then they strategically dilute, and we continue to move forward. However, the question is why are they doing this at this time? Again, there's a couple of things going on here. Correct, there are five reasons to reverse split. The primary objective is to entice institutional investors. Second one is lower transaction cost. It stated a shift in company focus and restructuring of capital. While I'm confident that AMC won't abandon their major focus, They've been experimenting with numerous other concepts, such as their strategic investments in high craft and popcorn. Capital restructuring also strikes me as something that could be taking place in some fashion. Obviously, merger contingency. This one stands out right now. Again, Antara Capital stipulated that the business must undertake a shareholder vote to merge AP and AMC, followed by a 10 to 1 reverse split. So there is a possibility that we may potentially see, again, a really wonderful opportunity in a rising to the top. Others, however, have effectively questioned why Adam Aaron does not simply imitate the practices of other organizations and hydro law firm in order to take down some of the naked short sellers. Big stated once more that we are you loud and clear. Recently, Zazis retained an investigation law company to investigate dark pool behavior with specific market makers big and tied. Since the announcement, the Adam Air requires legal action crowd large is down 47%. This is not what we want. We want something that will boost intrinsic shareholder value, not something that will decrease it. Adam Aaron continues to play a game of 40 chess, but it appears that he has finally reached checkmate. Anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all again so much for joining us. Please make sure to smash that thumbs up for me to characterize the channel visit Mumu while you're there in order to sell free stock. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon.